It is time once again to observe International Biodiversity Day. This year in 2020, as we commemorate the day, we feel a natural urge to mention about the dreadful presence of novel coronavirus, which has struck the world with the pandemic COVID-19. In the recent past, some other such infectious diseases were caused by Ebola, Nipah, avian flu, swine flu, and these viruses are transmitted from animals to man. And it has been astonishingly found that 72% of these zoonotic diseases have originated from wild animals. And the transmission is associated with wildlife trafficking and bush meat consumption. So we humans are responsible on one hand for the emergence of such fearful pathogens and on the other for the destruction of innocent wildlife. So in the backdrop of the pandemic, in the backdrop of prolonged lockdown, in the midst of worry and anxiety for the far and near uh, future, we, Department of Zoology, Bangabashi Morning College, Kolkata, West Bengal, India, have decided to share a message on International Biodiversity Day. This year, the theme is our solutions are in nature. Indeed, it is time to understand how far we have shifted from Mother Nature. But in spite of great advancements in technology, we still are dependent on a healthy ecosystem to sustain us. So the motto should be, let live so that we may live. We have to protect wildlife, preserve biodiversity and conserve nature so that man and animals can live in harmony, sharing Mother Earth and her resources in a sustainable way. Now I thank all teachers of Department of Zoology, Bangabashi Morning College, support staff and all students for their active participation and valued contribution in making this video. Thank you. आज बाईस में इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर बायोलॉजिकल डायवर्सिटी आज हमें ये बोलते पर ह्यूमैन सीविलइेशन अनेक बस एडभांस टेक्नोलजिकाली अनेक बस प्रोग्रेस कर फेले कई बोलते पर प्रब्लेम फ्री हुए जीवन काटा जो चारिपाशे तक देखो एम कि समस्या आज जहाँ गोटा पृथ्वी जुड़े छड़िए छिटी आज विभिन्न देश के चिंतनशील व्यक्तरा शिक्षा भी देरा जबकुन पढ़ाचुने कोर्चन बा इस मोस्ट प्रॉब्लम गुलो नियर स्टडी कोर्चन तबकुन तरह देख चन जे ये समस्या गुलो छुट्टपातो एवं तार समाधन दुटे ही अच्छे अच्छे आमदे चार पशे आमदे प्रकृति थे आमदे जो भी आमदे प्रकृति मने आमदे चार पशे गाज पाला मानुष जोन सब किचु एक जो ती आ ताले देखो इस उम्मीद को समाधन समस्या को लोग समाधन को सहजी बिलियास चें। यूनाइटेड नेशन तार ए इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर बायोलॉजिकल डायवर्सिटी ए दिन टा उच्चापन ने चुनना प्रत्येक बच्चों के पीछे किसी थीम लाके 2000 कुली साले तादिर थीम होते हैं द सॉल्यूशंस आर इन नेचर तादिर वक्तव्य ये प्रचुर प्रचुर समस्या गुलो जिगलो मधे के जोड़-जोड़ी तो कोड़े तुम्हें चो कोटी नहीं होतो, शेगलो ते के नीचे दे रिहाई दिते पार पो। आम्रा डेवलपमेंट चाहे, किंतु शेटा जानो है सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट। कौकुने नीचे के डिस्ट्रॉय कोड़े, नीचे के डिस्टार्ट कोड़े, डेवलपमेंट पोर पो शेटा जानो एटाई होप आमदेर नोटुन मंत्रो धन्यवाद सर स्केली एंटीटर्स आर मैमल्स एंड हैविंग देयर बॉडी कवर्ड बाय स्केल्स एंड दे रोल अप इंटर बॉल व्हेन थ्रेडेड 
There are eight species of pangolin found in Asia and Africa. It, the novel coronavirus outbreak has brought attention to these timid animals. A group of scientists speculate that pangolins are probably the intermediate hosts to transmit the virus from bats to humans. Two species of pangolins are endangered while the Chinese and Malayan pangolins are critically endangered. They are hunted for their meat and scales which are used in traditional Chinese medicines. These gentle creatures that live on ants and termites, pangolin, should be conserved and saved from extinction. A magnificent Asiatic lions needs no introduction. Uh, about 600 Asiatic animals are found in National Gir Forest in Gujarat of India. It is endangered because of its small population um, uh, restricted uh, in its small habitat. Um, uh, an endemic disease or uh, fire for a forest fire um, could destroy the uh, population uh, forever. So, conservation of this magistric animal um, is highly needed. Once thought to be extinct, but since time immemorial, this endangered species of deer have been walking the lands of India, Manipur. The dancing deer of the brow antler deer is a pride of India. The state animal of Manipur and often known as the Shanghai. They have uniquely shaped antlers that look like the eyebrows. These are endemic to Manipur, the Loktak Lake in the integral part of Taibo Lamhao National Park is the largest freshwater body in Northeast India and have a specialized habitat for these unique creatures. Confined to 15 to 20 square kilometers in the national park, there is a floating biomass of vegetation locally called the Fungus. They have a low specific gravity and a high buoyancy which support the system of these which support the system of these specialized Shanghais. Now the Shanghais hop over these specialized fungus, which are grown naturally and not artificially, and they look like they are dancing. That's why the name the dancing deer. However, still now, these are facing a lot of challenges like human intervention, habitat destruction, and even habitat loss due to construction of dams, flooding, etc. But all due respect and love for those conservationists and environmentalists who have been saving these creatures. From 6 in 1961 to 260 in 2020, the population has risen enormously. Let's hope that in the near future, these endangered species are going to born free, and live free, and can dance their way free. Fingers crossed. There are two species of rhinoceros in Africa and three in Southern Asia. Indian rhino or the greater one horned rhinoceros in the past had a wide habitat area extending from Pakistan to Myanmar. Now they are found in some protected areas of India and Nepal. These mega herbivores are a keystone species that maintain the grassland ecosystem. Rhinos are killed for their horns that are believed to have medicinal properties. The animal is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red list and should be conserved to present biodiversity. While speaking about biodiversity, one has to mention the world's largest animal, the blue whale. The king of the ocean is distributed in all major ocean basins except the Arctic Ocean and the Bering Sea. Such gigantic mammals exclusively feed on krill, small crustaceans measuring a few centimeters only. Blue whale is an endangered animal and needs protection from various threats that includes climate change, ship strikes, entanglement with fish gearing and pollution. Good morning students. Hope you are doing well at your home in this lockdown period. So today I am going to discuss on the effect of pollution on the biodiversity. We all know that in the last three decades, due to pollution, deforestation, human activities and urbanization, the biodiversity in the city of Kolkata has reduced. But in this lockdown effect, the good thing which we can see is that the pollution level has dropped very much. Due to this, a large number of mammals and birds which were seen long ago in Kolkata are now back. We can easily spot peacock on the streets of Barakpur. We can see that the dolphins are back on the Hooghly River of Kolkata. We can see there are so many birds like sparrow, sipahi bulbul, red vented bulbul, drongo, kakku, all are back in flocks in the city of Kolkata. We can also notice that the jackals are also back in the city and the suburban areas of the cities. So from this, we can easily, easily understand that reduction of pollution will result in increase in the biodiversity of the city. So I would request you to play some role and take part in the reduction of pollution of the environment so that 
the biodiversity of the city can be restored thank you very much the great barrier reef represents the world largest coral reef ecosystem it lies in the coral sea of the east coast of queensland it is considered as a wonder of nature and it can be viewed from the space it is composed of billions of tiny coral polyps being the most biologically diverse ecosystem it is a shelter to millions and the food source to even more besides it protects the coastline from erosion and tsunami climate change coral bleaching overfishing and other uses are among the major threats the worldwide search is on to save this world heritage site dugong is a marine mammal considered as the inspiration of mermaids they are slow moving large animals with human like eyes bulbous face paddle like flippers and fluke like tail they are found in warm waters around the coasts of about 40 countries and including india they feed on sea grass and are known as the queen of the sea coastal development fishing activities uncontrolled tourism hunting for food and medicinal purposes pose a potential threat for this vulnerable species this marvel of nature can be saved by fishing and tourism management habitat protection and awareness coffins are not very well known but very adorable sea birds unlike penguins that cannot fly coffins can swim and fly all four species of coffins are found in the northern hemisphere these birds are fish eaters and play an important role in the ecological balance apart from hunting and poaching global warming and climate change are the biggest threats to the survival of these wonderful birds the efforts undertaken by the project coffin which has been found by dr stephen chris in 1973 has succeeded to protect and increase their population even after being so far from them we can do this little help to our little brother of now leatherbacks are the largest and the deepest diving sea turtle measuring up to 7 feet in length its carapace is not bony but leathery these are these turtles are specially adapted to the cold waters of atlantic pacific and indian oceans these beautiful animals feed exclusively on jellyfish and maintain balance in marine ecosystem these vulnerable reptiles are threatened by pollution and fishing its conservation should be encouraged good morning insects are known to be the most diverse and successful organisms on the earth it can adapt for almost every imaginable type of in condition of the environment on the planet according to taxonomist insect order may vary within 29 to 32 insect biodiversity accounts for a large proportion of all biodiversity on the planet over half of the estimated 1.5 million organisms are classified and described as insect many of the major factors that leads to the loss of the insect biodiversity such as habitat loss and fragmentation maximum uses of agrochemicals like insecticide and pesticide disease pollution climate change introduction of invasive species and the urbanization and industrialization insect biodiversity are very much important because insect are can create all biological foundation for terrestrial ecosystem it can cycle nutrients pollinate plants disperse seeds maintain soil structure and soil fertility and control the other harmful organisms of pests and it is a source of major taxa insect are nature agent it can disposal and recycling of animal dung and 
dead bodies of plants and animals. Life as we know could not exist without such recycling processes. We can use insect many more direct and indirect ways. So we have a reason why we need to conserve them. Thank you. Code dragon, the largest lizard on the earth, are carnivorous and poisonous. They are endemic to Kondra Island in Indonesia. They are enlisted as a vulnerable species, but the population sizes decline. Though aggressive, venomous, and potentially dangerous, these massive monitors must be conserved to maintain the ecological balance and preserve the biodiversity. Dart frogs are brightly colored and creatively beautiful, having high demand in the international pet trade. Being secondary consumer, they play a very important role in the food chain. They are continuously threatened by pollution from the agrochemicals, climate change and habitat loss. Though they are not very big or massive animals, they demand a proper conservation to preserve biological diversity. Biodiversity is the greatest treasure we have, said by Thomas Eisner. The word biodiversity refers to all the life forms present on our earth, that is plant species, animal species, microorganisms, fungi, etc. No matter how small, all have an important role to play. The well-being of a society depends to a large extent on the benefits that we derive from these organisms. Uh, the more biodiversity is there, it will lead to the increase of more ecosystem diversity. And more ecosystem diversity will in turn will increase more ecosystem services. For an example, the dynamics of soil nutrient cycles are determined by the composition of microorganisms that are present in the soil. Maintenance of biological diversity is key to sustaining the flow of energy in our societies. World Biodiversity Day is celebrated on 22nd May. As the most superior species on the earth, it is our duty to make our earth a better place for all the living beings. I would like to thank our head of the department, our respected ma'am, for organizing this and encouraging us in doing so. Thank you. Hi, I am Ryan Dash. So let's start. The variety of life on earth, like the number of species of plants, animals, microorganisms, the variety of genes in this species and their biological activity is actually regarded as biodiversity. Biodiversity boosts ecosystem productivity. But each species, no matter how small, all have some or more important role on the ecosystem. Through processes such as habitat restoration, captive breeding, seed banking, reducing climate change, reducing invasive species, we can conserve and save our biodiversity. Thank you. Heliadder is an animal discovered in 2016. It is a small, venomous and extremely rare snake found in South Africa. It was thought to be extinct until four live specimens were found in the year 2016. It is a challenge for conservationists worldwide to increase the population of this mysterious serpent. Since the foundation of WWF, the Worldwide Fund for Nature, in 1961, Giant Panda has been their official logo. Due to expanding human populations and development, this adorable animal is now restricted to live in 20 isolated patches of bamboo forest in China. The panda diet is exclusively based on leaves, shoots and stems of bamboo. The animal is threatened by habitat loss and habitat fragmentation. However, the constant efforts of the conservationists succeeded to downgrade the IUCN status of giant panda from endangered to vulnerable. The conservation icon is a real motivation to save the planet's vanishing biodiversity.